Hi everyone, I'm Gabby and I'm so excited to give you this first look at PebbleGo Create. With PebbleGo Create, educators have the tools they need to support their students and students have the power to creatively demonstrate their learning in their own way. So let's take a look. The first thing you're gonna do of course is head to pebblego.com and up at the top there you can go ahead and click on sign in and now you have the option to sign in with Buncee and you need to do that otherwise you won't see those PebbleGo create options. Now depending on how your account is set up whether you sync with Google or sync with Microsoft or put in your school domain whatever option you have you're just going to go ahead and enter that in enter your password and username and then you'll be able to sign in. Now if you are a teacher you're most likely going to go to that purple drop down menu at the top you can go ahead and click that and you'll have the option to click on create with Buncee. So you can click that and now you'll be taken to your Buncee dashboard. Uh, you can see we're on the classes tab and here's where you can monitor and manage all of your classes. You can of course sync with Google or sync with Microsoft, but once you have all of your classes and student accounts set up, you can go ahead and click on a class for instance and here you're able to monitor and manage your students work. So for example, you could select a student and you can go ahead and click on them and you can actually see all of their work. So they're working on creating a portfolio and putting that together and you can view that right here. You can even click on the Buncees and open them up for viewing. If you're a student, you are more likely going to click on just an article. So we could do animals for example and click that. And then we can choose amphibians, for example, and let's go ahead and do frogs. Now, as a student, you can explore the article just like you would normally, and you have all the same options on the bottom, but of course, additionally, you have the create option if you are signed in with Buncee. So you can go ahead and click on that. And when you do, you have a couple of different options. So first, you can go ahead and click on new Buncee. So you can create a Buncee from scratch if you want to do so. And here you are on a blank Buncee creation canvas. Now up at the top, you'll notice it is titled Pebble Go Frogs automatically based on the article. And of course, in the middle, you can add whatever you want here. You can add a background if you want to by clicking that button or this little one down here at the bottom. You can also duplicate a page or delete a page and this toolbar will change based on what you have selected. Um, when you're creating later. And this is just the first page. You can go ahead and add more pages, of course, there on the side. You have your undo and your redo buttons here at the top. You can adjust your settings. And this is a standard Buncee size that you're looking at, but you can choose a different size, like a square size or a banner size. There are lots to choose from if you want to make a different size Buncee, of course. And then you have your creation tools here on the side, and there's lots to choose from. Of course, you have a basic search feature. You can, of course, also add in text if you want to, um, whatever you need to type in. You can add in shapes if you want. You can also include drawing in your Buncee. You can include animations as well. You can take a look at stickers, which we'll come back to. You can also choose word art and to add emojis. We have a web image search you can choose. It's powered by Pixabay, so it's a little bit um, keyword filtered as well. You can upload an item you have on your device, like a photo or a video or a document. You can also record your own video and take your own photos right within Buncee as well. You can also include a QR code as well. But I want to just show you a couple of features really quick. So let's look at stickers. You can click on that and then you can type in frogs in the search bar and you'll get different frog related stickers that will pop up. And then you can just drag and drop them into your Buncee. Super easy. For now, I'll just go ahead and X out just because we're in a demo. Uh, and I just wanted to show you really quickly the video function. It's really easy to use. Just click on video and then you have the option to click the red button to start recording. You can record your video if you need to demonstrate something or just share your voice and then just add it into your Buncee. Super easy. And really you can add whatever you need to. And if you make a mistake, don't worry. You can always undo and you can always make changes to your Bun C and update as you need to. The next option you have is the middle button that says activity right there. 
And when you click on that, you're actually guided to a ready to use template, encouraging students to show and tell their work. Now it is automatically titled Pebble Go Frogs in this case as well. And you'll also notice the background color is orange and that will change based on the module you're in. It's orange because we're in animals right now, but they'll all have the show section for students to show their work and a tell section for them to tell about what they learned. So they can add in whatever they want to here, just like they could normally if this was a standard create your own, you know, blank canvas Buncee. They have all the same options to add in and they can add in whatever media they would prefer, of course. So I'll show you what it could look like when it's all done. And the student is able to show using any stickers or, um, in the, or animations or in this case, drawing as well and they're able to tell about what they've learned and in, they have included a sticker, of course, uh, but they can include text and in this case, video as well. The last option is My Buncees and if you click on that, you're guided to your Buncee dashboard where you can see all the Buncees you've made. So if you want to start a Buncee and then finish it later, you can do that. If you want to maybe edit something later on, you can do that. And you can also click on the plus sign right there and you can get started with a new Bun C from scratch if you want to do that as well. So you just have a little bit more flexibility, but you can of course open your Bun C up and you can make any edits or changes that you need to or continue working. This is just the beginning and I can't wait to see what's next. But for now, thank you so much for watching this first look at Pebble Go Create.